three containers have their volumes in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. They are full of mixtures of milk and water. The mixtures contain milk and water in the ratio of 4 is to 1, 3 is to 1, 5 is to 2. The ratio of milk and water in the fourth container contains all the above three mixtures is. So we have milk and water in the ratio. In first vessel, it is in the ratio 4 is to 1. Second vessel, it is in the ratio 3 is to 1. Third vessel, it is in the ratio 5 is to 2. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Now, three containers have their volumes in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. So, multiply first ratio with 3, second ratio with 4 and third ratio with 5. 3 is to 4 is to 5. Now, multiply first ratio with either take the LCM or multiply first ratio with 4 and 7. 4 into 7 and second ratio with 5 into 7 and third ratio with 5 into 4. Now if you cancel 4 from all these 3, this will become 20, 20, 21. So 21 into 4, first ratio will become 21 into 4 is equal to 84, 21 into 1 is equal to 21. Second ratio will become 7 into 5, 35. 35 into 3 is equal to 105. 35 into 1 is equal to 35. Third ratio will become 5 into 5, 25. 25 into 5 is equal to 125. 25 into 2 is equal to 50. So, now, total parts in all these three ratios are same. Now, you can add these ratios together to obtain the final mixture ratio. That is, 1 plus 5 is equal to 6. 2 plus 3 plus 5 is equal to 10. 4 plus 5, 9. 9 plus 5, 14. 1 plus 8, 9. 9 plus 2, 11. 1 carry over. 1 plus 1 plus 1, that is 3. So, 314 is to 106. When you cancel it with 2, 2 into 2, 1. 2 into 5, 10. 2 into 7, 11. 14. So, 2 into 5, 10, 2 into 3, 6. So, 157 is to 53. Option C is your answer.